I love that he took that title. I love that he he refocused that to give us a, a historically accurate um, account of the things that have happened in this country and and also an account of slavery where in which, like, yes, we know there were atrocities, but also there was love. There was a sense of family. There was a sense of bravery. Um, and that alone was an act of defiance, to believe that you could have a family, to believe that you deserved to be married to someone and that they belonged only to you. And it's, it's that thought alone that that you don't typically get to see when watching movies about this topic, um, which I, I really loved. And, and that's what I really gravitated to when I read this script, knowing that we were going to see m more of the humanity of these people. We get this sense in her that she's a fighter from the very beginning. and. When we first see her, I mean, her hair is matted, her clothes are torn, her, her wrists are bloodied from where she's been bound and dragged, and, and we don't know what harm she has come to just in getting to the, uh, it, just in getting to the auction block where we first see her. Um, but once she is purchased and on her way to the Turner, farm that 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 first scene between her and Nat it's like when we talked about it we we wanted you to under we wanted our audiences to understand instantly like even though she had been so degraded from wherever she had come from she was going to use she was going to use her last breath if she had to, to fight for herself. She was never, ever going to willingly hand over her body. And, and just knowing that that was in her, that that's the kind of person that she is, I, I really wanted to be able to give honor to her. Nate is fearless, and it's beautiful that he's so fearless. He knew exactly the story he wanted to tell, and and yeah, there were people that were like, no one's gonna wanna watch that. And it is hard to watch because what he's done so brilliantly is he didn't make the white characters in this film one-dimensional. Like, they're, they're doing what they do out of a necessity as well. You know, and, and some of them think that they're doing something good, which is also very amazing in of itself. And so when the fight begins, there's, it's very conflicting, you know, because yes, you're fighting for what you, what you believe in, but the act of taking someone else's life, I mean, that's never an easy decision to make, but it's an act of war and it is meant to to begin the war that will lead to freedom. And so in Nate being fearless enough to tell this story, well, we all had to jump in fully and really deal with the trauma of it and putting it out there. For myself, even watching it, there were times when I wanted to turn away because it's it's hard, it's hard to look at that image and see that, and it's painful. It's painful to know that this isn't some imagined thing. This is, this is history, this is factual. Um, it hurts, it hurts to watch it. But it's something we need to face. We need to, we need to see it and face it and the story needs to be told so that we can learn from it and do better. And Nate is an educator and, 
and he wants people to learn and he wants people to do better. And he understands that in order to do that, he has to risk, he has to risk everything and put it out there so that he can affect some real change so that we all can, which is, I mean, how brave is that? This is a film where we're going to stand up and say, we deserve to live like anyone else. We deserve to live and love and breathe and walk freely and be unencumbered and not be disenfranchised and not feel like anything that we care about can be taken from us at any moment. That you cannot take our body, you cannot take my life, you cannot take the life or the body of someone that I care about. That film does not, it, it exists now, but it didn't exist before. I wish it had. I wish when I was a child growing up and Black History Month would come along, I wish this film had existed so that I could feel empowered. And that is what this movie does. It makes you feel empowered. It makes you believe that you are capable of, of fighting for yourself, of taking care of yourself, of voicing the problem in front of you of giving voice to the voiceless. Did you know that Dwayne Johnson was Tim Burton's second choice for the role of Willy Wonka in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which went to Johnny Depp? Do they seriously look alike according to Burton? Who do you prefer as an actor, Depp or The Rock? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to click here for more videos. Thanks for watching.